So, you want a corn dog, but you're really more of a cat person. Hey guys, I'm Bethesda by Kai. I'm Kai and today we're back once again taking a look at some Blender Basics once again. Doing some basics today. Um, and the thing I wanted to showcase today was extruding and insetting. Um, because these two things kind of go hand in hand a little bit uh, when you're modeling things. So let's just jump straight into it. We have the default scene here. If you go ahead and left click your cube um, and use a scroll wheel to like zoom in and out here. Uh, and click it if you click the scroll wheel so mouse button three if you click that and you can pan around a little bit there hit tab to go into edit mode so you can see it turns kind of orange like this now what you're going to do is go up to the top left and hit this little button that says a uh, face select mode right here so you can have three different types of selecting so you have vertice which is like these individual points you have edge select which is you know each individual edge and then you have face select which is the entire face of whatever you're looking at so you see when I click this top face, um, it kind of turns like whitish, little orangey, kind of like that a little bit. So let's click this top one. And if I hit E on my keyboard, you can see I can move this up and down and I can essentially extrude this either upwards or inwards to like make it look like it's like a box or something. Um, but let's, let's go ahead and extrude it outwards like this. So it's a little bit longer. So just left click to confirm that movement. Um, so you can just like hit left click and then it'll just you know, put it there. Nice. So with that done. Let's say that I want to go ahead and make a little hole on this side right here. So let's go ahead and grab this piece right here. Maybe we're making a trash can. You know, one of those little trash cans you put your, like you put the bottles in. You know what I mean? I guess that's a recycling bin. <clears throat> Moving on. Let's go ahead and hit the um, I button on my keyboard with this face selected. And then you go hit boom. There you go. Now, when you move your mouse, you can see it'll make this little make this little box here so you can see the further I move it in or out you don't want to go past this point because then that's like going inverted now and it looks weird and strange and stuff but everything up until this point right here let's go ahead and let's put it about right maybe uh, right here so you can see so what we've done is we've inset this so we use the I key to inset something so essentially what it is is just taking this face and then hitting I and then just making it smaller so that way we can like you know fix it up and, and extrude and whatnot. So with this little hole that we've made here, it's not really a hole yet. So it's just kind of like, you know, a little face. It's like a little piece, like a little box. So um, let's go ahead and select this piece, hit E to extrude it. And we'll just push it inwards like that, just a little bit. So now we see we do have a little slit there, a little, little male slot, you know, which is cool. Um, now we can go ahead and so we can see how far back this piece is close to the like actual back of the trash can Let's go ahead and go to the top right and hit this little uh, viewport shading thing that has like the little wireframe uh, And then choose that one so you can see now when we do that you can see like through the mesh here So we can see how far away this piece is to the back now so we can get a better look hit three or actually hit one, sorry, hit one on your numpad to go to the side. So, well, this is, this is the front facing view, but because we modeled this on the side, it's like on the side, you know, so don't, 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 don't worry about that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to actually rotate this, but yeah, we did this on the side. So because we did it, we created this little piece on the side. It was on the side, but let's just go ahead and pretend this is the front. So now this is facing the front. So you have this little, this little hole and it's facing the front. So if you hit one on your numpad, you can see that it'll put that in the front piece. Now, if we hit three, go to the wireframe, if we hit three, it'll show us the side view. So this is the side of, of, of the, the trash can here. So this is the, where we need to put this, we need to bring this back here. So hit tab and with that face still selected, hit G and then hit Y hit G and Y. So G is the key to move things and Y is going to move it on the Y axis, which is, um, which is in, in this case, left to right. Um, X and X is also a different direction and Z is up and down. So let's go ahead and pull this backwards like this to about right there, maybe left click to confirm that and then go ahead and hit um, tab to go out of edit mode. And then we can just pan around using the middle mouse button. Once again, click and drag the middle mouse button around the scroll wheel. There we go. Now we can put this back on solid viewport shading. You can see here what we have is something that looks pretty, pretty cool. Now, what I want to do is I'm also going to add loop cuts to this video. And the reason is, is because I'll tell you why right now hit tab to go back into edit mode. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab this little loop cut tool right here. So this one right here, grab that. And now you can see when we hover our cursor around here, you can see, you can see that we have some really, really cool looking, uh, some really, really cool looking 
uh, lines that kind of go around. Now, what we need to do is we need to get a little loop cut inside here. So what this is going to do is going to create this one of these lines. See these black lines we have around here? All these black lines on the outs on the outside. So like this line goes all, all the way around. It's going to create one of those. So we can like move move some things around. And I'll show you what I mean when we do this. So let's go ahead and put our cursor somewhere inside of here until it makes this little yellow line on the inside, not on the outside, not on the outside, on the inside right here. Hit left click to confirm that, and then go ahead and hit G to move it up and then make sure you tap Y so we can move it straight on this on this nice axis. I'm going to move this line up about right here. So you see where the orange line is right there. Go back to the saw uh, to select the select tool. You see where this orange line is? That's where we want that. That's where we want that. So we're once again, hit G Y to move it back and forth like that. And put it about, about right there. Now with this, what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and grab the face select tool one more time. Hit this little uh, face right here. And instead of hitting G Z to move it down, we're going to go ahead and hit E to extrude it downwards. So you see what we do here? Hit E to extrude it down. And now you can see we have a nice little space in there, which is really, really cool. Now hit one to go to the front facing view. And just like we did before when we were trying to pull back the other piece, we're gonna go to the wireframe mode so we can see what we're doing. And hit G Z to move this up and down. So hit G Z. There we go. Move on the Z axis, move it about right there. And then left click to confirm that. Hit tab to go back out of edit mode. Now you can see what we have here is um oh if we go back to solid viewport shading right here solid viewport shading um you can see we have a nice little uh, hole in there so this is essentially a nice little you know minecraft trash can so we've showed off three different techniques so we've showed off extruding we've showed off um insetting and we've showed off the loop cut tool so these are three tools that you're really going to need to to kind of start modeling and you can use these tools to really get started and really 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 um uh, make whatever you need honestly these are the three three of the biggest tools in blender i'm not even gonna lie to you for modeling wise for doing stuff like this so these are the three things you're probably only really gonna need these when you're starting off when you're doing even more advanced things really these are the only things that you you typically use but yeah so i hope you learned something new today i hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye